हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एंड वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विद द कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क्स कोर्स एंड टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट ट्रांसमिशन मोड्स सो ट्रांसमिशन मोड्स मींस हाउ द डेटा इज बीइंग ट्रांसमिटेड वेदर इट इज बीइंग ट्रांसमिटेड इन पैरेलल और इट इज बीइंग ट्रांसमिटेड इन सीरियल सो वी विल बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट पैरेलल ट्रांसमिशन मोड इज व्हाट सीरियल ट्रांसमिशन मोड इज एंड what are the types of serial transmission so there are three types of serial transmission modes first is asynchronous the second is synchronous and the third one is isosynchronous so we will be studying all the three of them in detail along with the parallel transmission mode also isosynchronous so a uh, parallel transmission mode basically means that multiple bits are sent with each clock tick that means at each point whenever uh, the sender is sending some data then multiple bits will be sent at the same time with each clock tick now multiple bits means that if there are n number of bits that has that are being transmitted by the sender then each of these n bits will be sent at the same time at the same instant so that they reach the receiver also at the same instant so this is possible when we have multiple channels that means for each of the n bits we require a separate wire that can carry the bits separately so one bit can be transmitted at one moment at, uh, in a in a wire okay so if we if we have a physical wire that is used for transmission that at then at any moment we can only transmit one bit at a time but if we have to transmit multiple bits at the same time then we need multiple wires okay so n bits will require n separate wires such that one bit will be transmitted on each wire and each of these bits will then travel simultaneously so if this is a sender who wants to send 5 bits in parallel then the sender will maintain five different channels of communication that means he'll maintain five different wires such that at every moment he will send five different bits the bits can be different it can be 0 1 0 any uh, format any combination can be formed but all these bits will be carried separately on each wire and they will travel simultaneously and reach the receiver okay so now the advantage of parallel transmission is that the speed is very fast the speed of transmission is faster as compared to serial communication and it is increased by n times okay as compared to serial transmission because as we will see in the next video also that in serial transmission there is a single wire and at one point only one bit is transmitted if the second bit has to be transmitted it will be sent on the same wire after the previous bit okay so if we have n different wires we can send n times the data that is being sent by the serial transmission so this is the advantage of parallel transmission now the disadvantage of parallel transmission is the cost of connections that are involved since we are transmitting multiple bits so multiple wires will be required and the cost increases that is why parallel transmission is generally used at shorter distances so that the amount of cabling and the cost of cabling is limited okay so this was about parallel transmission and the three types of transmission modes in the next video we will be studying about what is serial transmission and the different types of serial transmissions that is asynchronous synchronous and isosynchronous serial transmission modes so that's all for today's video i hope you have understood this topic in case you have any doubts you can mention to us in the comment section below Thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam